Schattenfreude, it's a noun, often capitalized. Uh, the definition, enjoyment obtained from the troubles of others. Well, today's shares of Robinhood are trading higher, but the company announced that it was laying off another 23% 23, 23 of its workforce, from whom the CEO, Vlad Tenev, calls Robin Hoodies. Listen, I feel bad for those hoodies, but this is a company that still hasn't come clean with their dastardly deed to retail investors. Remember, it was captured in this June 28, uh, 2001 headline of Input Magazine. I think it was perfect. Now, the company's defender snickered, right, because the monthly active users actually grew that first quarter and the next quarter. Uh, and they were saying, well, you know, people don't care that they got rid of the buy button uh, and that somehow they thought it was okay. Uh, you know, and plus it was just a sign at the plebes that the regular folks had nowhere else to go. Well, guess what? The plebes got wise. They began to walk away. Monthly active users have stumbled to 14 million from 21 million. And I hope the company will decide to make the end user the actual customer, even if it means charging a small fee. I also hope Gary Gensler delivers some sort of justice as well. Until then, what's happened is what we used to say in my old block, street justice, which, by the way, always happens sooner rather than later. The good news for almost everyone right now is a lot of these stocks have all this bad news already baked into the cake and a lot of names that have so much promise that we gave up on showing signs of life. And this is what you want in a market like this. But you got to do your homework and go in there because oversold bounces, oversold bounces. Some of these names, though, this might be the beginning of something amazing and a lot of them may actually live up to the original hype. Right, Liz Clayman? That happens from time.